Yeah. I imagine that stain color never coming out. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> So today we're going to answer that question and bring you guys along to see what's in our bag. What's in your diaper bag? My bag is an Eddie Bauer bag. I got it from Target. I actually got it as a gift at my baby shower. Um, it's $50. It does cost $50. Um, it has so many straps. It has some stroller straps right here to hang it onto your stroller. It's like in a backpack format. So it's like super comfortable with these straps are extremely comfortable um, it has like back padding in it um, it has so many different compartments um, it has a holder right here holder right here it's it's been nothing but amazing I love this bag also it's very gender neutral so my partner he's allowed to like wear it and use it like he's he's able to use it and wear it um, without feeling like it's too girly because we do have a girl um, he uses it just as, just as much as I do so I really like the aesthetics of this bag I like the color I like all the different departments compartments like <laughs> I love this bag what's in your bag <laughs> <laughs> I love that bag too <laughs> okay so I am rocking with the skip hop bag from Target it was like I don't know maybe twenty five dollars when you bought it mm -hmm. um, I love it as well. It's black and it's gold. At first, we were just like, uh, I don't think I want it. <laughs> <laughs> we're a little bit temporary. Okay. Right. Because, yeah. But we ended up falling in love with it. I think that my favorite thing about this bag, my favorite thing about this bag is just how it opens. <laughs> but also, it's kind of just like my purse. So I use a backpack purse usually. So the straps are just like comfortable, thick straps that aren't like digging into my skin mm -hmm. or whatever. It also has the little... Oh, the stroller straps. Which I did not know were stroller straps right. at first. I really thought that it was like for a blanket. Right. And you could roll up a blanket. <laughs> and you could... But you had a really good idea. Right. right. Yeah. She was like, I give her like a yoga mat. Yes. <laughs> you can put a yoga mat there. You can easily roll up a yoga mat and put it right there. Yeah. I you definitely think so. a bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just uh, stretch it out to your desired like length and click that bad boy right on there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it has a main compartment. Two smaller compartments, a little pocket in the front, and two on the side. What's in your diaper bag? Let's see. So one of my main important things that I do have in my diaper bag, of course, <laughs> are diapers. My baby is five months old, so she's in a size two diapers based off of her weight um, and based off of really how it fits and how flexible it is. Um, I necessarily... I don't necessarily have a rule of how many diapers you need inside of your diaper bag at a time, but um, honestly, you can have <laughs> you can have thousands of diapers, or you can just have a little bit, depending on where you're going. And you know your baby, right? Like, and you, you know get your baby, know her. right? My okay. baby, she doesn't um, she doesn't use the bathroom that much, and she doesn't get that fussy when she does use the bathroom. Um, so usually when we're out, we're never out longer than a few hours anyway. Um, so usually I only have to change her diaper maybe once or twice while we're out. Um, but the only thing is that I've noticed that my partner, he usually always, like when we're at home and he has to change her diaper, he always picks her diapers out of the diaper bag. And That's then I'll go, <laughs> I'll go and I have to replace the diapers that are inside of the bag and like put more. I think that's one of the hardest things about like the di having a, a diaper bag for your 
you and your partner. Right, we both share a diaper bag. It can be sometimes annoying. Yes. Because <laughs> I'll like take something out and I'll know to replace it. But right. if he takes something out, he expects me to replace it still. And I don't know what right. you took. I don't know what you took out. I'm not taking inventory. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but that's an important thing. I, I check my diaper bag probably weekly. Right. Yeah. I try to check mine every day at the end of the day. That's, that's yeah. nice. I know. I'm well, just like, I know I got a bunch of diapers in there. Right. I would usually stock up more than this, actually. Right. My baby, we're usually out about about a few hours, so mm -hmm. maybe three diapers top. But sometimes, if we're at like seeing a family, we're talked into spending the night, and we need a few more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so we also got some wipes. Wipes. Oh my goodness. Um. We both use pamper sensitive as a what is the word that I'm looking for? As our go-to. Yeah, our go-to wipes are pamper sensitive. Pamper sensitive. We both adore pampers. It's not that we don't like huggies, it's just that we prefer pampers. The like, sensitive ones specifically. Mm -hmm. They're the wettest wipes. The wettest wipes. They're the wettest wipes. <laughs> <laughs> that we've tried so far. Feel like we're not we like really rubbing really the, the booty too much. Right. Causing diaper rash. Very important. Thing. See, another must have that I have inside of my bag, I would say, is a burp cloth. That one's cute. It's super cute, right? It's so cute. I like it. I want to burp on that just because it's cute. <laughs> so, out of my baby shower, um, our theme was very gender neutral. Uh, we didn't want anything too pink or too mm. purple or too sparkly. <laughs> so, a lot of people tend to get a, were, were getting us like more brown and more white and more gray. So, I did get this at my baby shower. And we still use it. I've been using this since day one. <laughs> we got a burp cloth as well. Definitely an essential. This one, we uh, we stole from the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like they got the best burp Get cloth. your goods at the hospital. Yes. <laughs> mm. I was like, no, baby, don't take that. Right. But you pay for it. Right. You pay for it. for it. They pay for it. They take inventory. And they get their money one way or another. Right. But yeah, burp cloths. Burp cloths. What else do you have in your diaper bag? Um, I have a couple of receiving blankets. Okay. And this is something that half of the time I actually forget, but they come in super crazy handy. Right. Whether I'm using it as a shade for the car seat because we don't have a car seat shade thingy yet. Yeah. <laughs> or I'm just tucking her in because she's acting fussy and I need to swallow her real quick. Mm -hmm. She really responds to swallow. So we have a couple of receiving blankets to do that. Right. They're also gender neutral. We got them from our baby shower. Yeah. I think my brother and my sister got them as well. Thank you, Auntie Kaylani. They're I cute. I like the little dinosaur print. <laughs> They're super adorable. Our baby actually does not like to be swaddled, so she doesn't have any swaddling blankets in her diaper bag. But I do always have a blanket handy for her whenever we go out. It's always necessary, even yeah. if it's hot. I always make sure I bring the blanket because you never know how long you're going to be out. And if you take your baby indoors, they always have AC. And sometimes mm -hmm. the AC is too cold for your baby. It's true. So I always have a blanket. This blanket is super nice. It's so warm. And it has holes in it, so it's very breathable. So when she wants to, like, pull on it and pull it on her face, I'm not scared that it's going to, like, suffocate, suffocate my baby. <laughs> so, yeah, that is definitely a must-have of mine as well. Um, another thing that I have inside of my diaper bag is lotion. Bounce her um, down instantly. Instantly. It's like magic. It is magic. Like, it does not work for my baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Amara, she loves this lotion. Especially if I feed her and I rub it all over her body, massage it on her skin, it change her diaper, put her on some new clothes, and she will fall asleep even <laughs> after that. So this is her favorite. Um, do I have lotion? I just took out some lotion. I had a, uh, what is that? A vino eczema lotion? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Millie actually had a reaction to it. Yeah. Hold on. I got some lotion in here. Let me take that out of it. So right now, all we got is this itty bitty sample size. Because <laughs> we haven't had to this the whole Vino baby lotion, and she responds well to this. It actually gets into her little dry sheets. It's nice. And that's all we need when we're out, to be honest. Do you want to try this? What the fuck? I know, I have a big ass Vino bottle. No, you got two big ass. Right. 
That's probably why you're very smooth. <laughs> Say hi, everybody. She I love it. it. She needs pay attention. Mm, I love it. Yes. <laughs> what are moms for? <laughs> exactly. My bag's like leaning. So like <laughs> Another thing I have in my diaper bag is extra clothes. <laughs> oh, yes. We got a onesie that's too small for her, so I should probably take that out now or trade it. Pair of pants. Something cute. It's pride season. Yes. Love is love. Thank <laughs> you to my friend who bought this for Millie at the baby shower. Yeah. Super adorable, summery, whatever. And then like a little outfit thing in case, you know, we spend the night somewhere and she's Right. And this is a sweater. I felt I folded it like the lady from mm -hmm. tidying up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's just cool. Text out of the It's a unicorn sweater. <laughs> So Amara also has a lot of clothes in her diaper bag. Um, right now she doesn't have as many clothes because I'm doing laundry. <laughs> so there's not a lot of clothes in there. But it's always important to have um, extra clothes inside of your diaper bag. Um, yes. she, especially onesies. Onesies are so easy to put. Take one off and put it right back on. She has accidents all the time. Yeah. All the time. And I need new clothes from what she's eating to her using the bathroom and it's seeping out her diaper oh. and getting all over her clothes. Yeah. Having a blowout in the car and it's everywhere in the car seat. Yes. Um, <laughs> you, oh, <laughs> you, you always say something about yes. She said, what'd you say? That the stain couldn't come the out. The stain was not coming out. <laughs> No matter how much I washed it, that I scored yellow. It. It's that's you. <laughs> yeah. Imagine that stain color never coming out. <laughs> everywhere. Uh, everywhere. Yes, Dang. Everywhere. Ooh, I would have been like, baby. Right. Ooh. <laughs> but anyway, always make sure that you guys have. Clothes of clothes of clothes and clothes and clothes inside of your bag. You can never have, to me, you can never have too much. Yeah. Honestly, she doesn't have a lot. Beanie. I, I pulled this out of accident, but beanies are necessary as well. My baby grew out of all the beanies. Yeah, this so. one's like way too big for her head. But. <laughs> oh, hi, Laura. Hi, baby. Another important thing and a must have that I need inside of my diaper bag, especially if my baby has a rash is baby powder i need to keep my baby dry especially during the summer it's all hot now and my baby gets rash very easily and i need to keep her dry so i do use the baby powder occasionally um i know baby powder isn't the best thing for your baby and you can choose what's right for you and what's right for your baby um but we have chose to use johnson and johnson baby powder um for our baby and for especially to keep her dry another thing random right uh, underwear i feel like it's super right now especially for me i definitely need a pair of underwear because i still can't hold my pee <laughs> <laughs> that was not what i was expecting to say <laughs> oh. <laughs> she messed me up no yes oh my goodness there was a point in time where my bladder control was zero to none like no. Oh my goodness, especially during those that first like two to three months, like it's still like that now a little bit, but because I know about it, I'm more aware of it. I try to use the bathroom as much as I can and I can hold it mm -hmm. a little bit more. Yeah. So it gets better, but I hope it does. <laughs> I agree. Always have your necessities in your bag or in a diaper bag, something for mommy. It's not just always yes. about the baby. Absolutely. Like, I definitely gotta carry extra stuff for myself as well. I also have, you know, a pad. Right. Because Pads, tampons, mm -hmm. whatever you need. Panty liners. Panty liners have been my best friend. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. I've never used, like, panty liners. I never used them now. either. Until after I had a baby. I understand now. Now I know. Mm -hmm. And not like those thin ones, like those slightly padded ones. They're not as big as, like, a pad. But yeah. they're not, like, as thin as paper either. Right. Those ones are perfect. Yeah, I agree. Oh. <laughs> Another thing that's good for me and for baby that I love is a book. 
She got me this book, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I love this book because if we're out and we're waiting or we're doing something, I can easily distract her with this book and yeah. like read it to her or just even show her the pictures or anything inside of the book. It's so colorful. It's so cute. <laughs> like, look at it. It's so cute. I love it. Um, and she loves the colors. Like, she loves the colors. So sometimes I can just distract her and shoot. <laughs> I'll just distract her with the book and she'll stop crying or I'll be able to get more things done. I'll have her sister play with her with it or even her dad or my, my, my dad or grandpa or my mom or somebody will play with her with the book and she'll feel a lot better. That's super cute. Mm -hmm. I actually just put a book in my back bag today. So technically we haven't used it yet <laughs> but I feel like I'm, we're reaching that stage where she can be distracted with stuff. Millie's Godmom actually bought this book for us. It's a walk it in my pocket. I think I think what she liked most about this book is mm -hmm. that they it's a, there's a walk it in my pocket. There's a walk it in my pocket. <laughs> yes. Every, every loves saying that. <laughs> every time Jerome's trying to read this book sort of, he's like, this don't rhyme. Right? Because <laughs> he raps, you know, so he's right. like, the whole, like, what is it? I don't know, tempo. I know right. He uses a better word than that, but they're like, the tempo's off. And I'm just like, oh. <laughs> it's just a book. I don't know. <laughs> this book doesn't rhyme either. Like, it's just like random words. Like, yeah. But I don't know. it's really pretty Thank cute, you. though. What else is something important inside of your diaper bag? Um, well, I got some gloves and, and some socks, but that goes with clothes, yeah. Right. She used to wear mittens on her hands, but now she's just a little too old for that. When she was about maybe two months or three months, uh -huh. she started taking them off. Like, uh -huh. I don't know how she would get them off. Yeah. And then would get one hand free and then use that hand to take the other one off. And then... <laughs> I would just lose them, or they would get soaking wet, and it would just be really <laughs> nasty. So I just stopped covering her hands. She mm -hmm. likes to eat her hands so much that it's just kind of pointless. But I do wish that I I um I had her wear mittens more when she was younger, which is smaller because it it she would have learned to stop scratching her face. I okay. feel like if she wasn't able to scratch her face, mm -hmm. she wouldn't do it. But now, I don't know. She just kind of does it all the time. Millie didn't really start scratching her face until like the the last couple of weeks. But she's literally got like maybe one or two scabs total yeah. from her face scratching. And they're like a dot. So she never wore gloves. We actually grew out of the infant yeah. gloves and these okay. are the neck size. And we still haven't used them. But I feel like maybe. Yeah. When her hands are cold, definitely like if we're out, mm -hmm. then I usually I'll, I'll put them in because I have a pair in here too. I don't I don't know where, <laughs> but yeah, they're in here. <laughs> but an uh, important thing for me, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so Millie takes a binky lifesaver. I usually have two binkies of different styles because right. sometimes she's super like picky. Like this one, sometimes she can get a little bit of air in her mouth, but then there's like this Advent one and it's flatter and she likes that a lot. Yeah. But something that else was more important was this little nipple shield. I don't know if you could see it because it's so see-through. Right. It's but <laughs> yeah, there's a nipple shield. Maybe you can smell. I don't know. But we had a really hard time breastfeeding. Right. So, yeah. So we had to use this nipple shield. She wouldn't latch on ever unless I was using this. Right. Um, and it was, I had to use a nipple shield as well for the same exact reason when Amara was born. She had a hard time breastfeeding as well. So that was necessary mm -hmm. at a certain time yeah. um, of her stage of development and her age. Now I don't need it in my back, but a few mm -hmm. months ago I did. Um, she doesn't take a passy. She doesn't take a thinky at all. <laughs> I wish she did, but I'm <laughs> glad she doesn't. Um, <laughs> she doesn't. Um, but one thing that I know is super important, not only for her, um, I think it is mostly for her, but it also helps with us as well, um, is, ooh, gripe water. Mm. Oh, that is a, and cool a little syringe. syringe. Right, and this one's, I like what? this one a little bit better because it's smaller and I can just, like, 
sneak it, it. <laughs> sneak it in her mouth and just you know boop um and so i always have the, the gripe water i have this one i picked this one because i looked at the ingredients on the back and i just like how um natural a lot of the ingredients are um it's really just purified water organic agave vegetable um something <laughs> 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 but it's all stuff that I can get out of my cabinet or some other stuff. It, it was pretty organic and I, I liked it. it I liked the way it soothed my baby. Um, I'm sure you have the same one, right? I do have the same one because you recommended this right. one in particular. Mm -hmm. And it works. Like at first it didn't. Yeah. And I was mad that I spent $10 on some shit. Right. That didn't I'm sorry. Work. <laughs> that was the same one. I was like, I should have just tried Lala's before I bought this. Right. But now it does. Like we don't mm -hmm. even use the full dosage. Right. We and we put, like, I still have like a full bottle. Like it goes, it lasts a long You way. still have, this is your first bottle? Yes. Oh shit, we out of <laughs> Oh. <laughs> we are literally like down here. This is, it looks full like you don't use this. I don't use it. What the fuck? Well, I use it every now and then, but maybe like <laughs> once a week or maybe once Dang. every week. She doesn't hiccup that much. And if Dang. she does, she gets over it on her own. Like, I don't need that anymore. Wow. Yeah, we only use mm -hmm. it once Millie hiccups to the point of crying. Like, yeah. if she's like over that shit, we're like, okay. Right, get the gripe water. And she hiccups a lot. So we're definitely done with this. She Right. <laughs> well, maybe you could take this one. Because okay. I don't use it. I mean, I don't use it. I mean, I save it for a rainy day. Save it for the rainy like, day. Like when her stomach is really hurting or something. Uh -huh. I feel like this might really help. Or mm. if, she, if she has really bad hiccups, but that day just. Yeah, hasn't it come. It hasn't come. That is so. Well, funny. it came and it passed. Gotcha. So I don't know if it's if it's a stage that was that was just a phase because it happened mm -hmm. when she was about two months. Okay. I'm the same age as Millie now. Amar is about five months now, and Millie is about two two mm -hmm. months, right? She's like yeah. nine weeks. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a product that we both recommend. We both really like this product. Yeah. To be fair. <laughs> um, something I have, I have. I also had this one too. Here's my second pinky. <laughs> this one's the Nook one. It was a gift as well. Thanks, Tyler. <laughs> she loves this one as well. So this I like that one too because it has the little, um, the little yeah. thingy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The little thingy on there so you can easily have it. And like yeah. you said, you said, like you did, yep, multitask. Ah, trying to get it in around right. sometimes and she's being real crazy. I don't know if you understood any of it. But <laughs> the binky wipes help a lot because yes. there's not always a faucet and these have something that cleans more than baby wipes. What is it? Like Arm & Hammer or something. Um, right. But it's safe for baby's mouth. It's particularly mm -hmm. safe for baby's mouth. I mean, yeah, regular exactly. wipes is not made for your baby's mouth or made for your baby to put it in their mouth. But this one is made specifically for things that go inside it's of It's made with 100% food grade ingredients. I don't know what that means, but it sounds... Safe. Sounds like uh, if we're saying anything wrong, right? If we think that don't be afraid safe, to message us. Help us out. Help us out. Like, teach me. I don't want to hurt my baby, and right. I, I believe these people when they say that this is safe. So if you know something that I don't, you know something that we don't. We right. love to learn. Mm -hmm. Okay, save a life. Save a life. We would. Love. <laughs> Another thing that I do have in my diaper bag are boogie wipes. Like, boogie wipes. She's a little young, so she doesn't really have like crazy severe boogies, and her nose is still really small, so it's kind of hard to use these. But I'm sure once she becomes a toddler, these are gonna come in handy. So I keep holding on to them. Yeah. yeah. We sometimes carry like a saline drip thing yeah. that we put in her nose if like they're really deep in there, we can't mm -hmm. get them because she does have boogers every now and then. Yeah. And they do bother her. And then the the the, the bowl syringe takes yeah. it out. But boogie wipes sound cool. When she is bigger. Right. Kind of a little bigger. Little right. Bit. These ones, I mean, they kind of help a little bit. But I don't like the smell of them. <laughs> so I don't use them. Is it great? It's great. What? Yeah. Why would you scent? A, oh, I guess that makes sense. You use it on your nose. The scent would be fun, huh? It Ooh. smells like great. It smells like juice. You <laughs> <laughs> can pick that one out. I don't I like it. Something super random that I have. And is this is this coupon book from Target? Right. <laughs> <laughs> they gave you a little mommy gift bag if you yeah. didn't know. You could just go onto Target and be like, I'm gonna have a baby. And they'll give you a little gift bag of like samples and coupons. Oh, have you used those already? I've used a few. 
I yeah. use a few and I know that I want to use more, but every time that I'm there, I just, I guess I forget about it. Like I bought more sheets and I forgot to use the second sheet coupon. And oh, that's <laughs> nice. Yeah, they got wipes and all types oh, of like soaps nice. and stuff. It's, it's like diaper the cream. smallest percentage of money off. It but is. It's nice. It's two bucks here and there. Okay. Yeah. One more thing that I have in my bag is. stain remover um this helps a lot for me because like i was saying i do leak a lot in my clothes uh, especially because i don't have any nursing pads get you some nursing pads um <laughs> if you have the same problem as me but yes this came inside of a gift basket that we got for um draft oh it's upside down for um draft gift basket and it comes with draft is the baby laundry detergent which i love it smells so good um and this came with it which is super cool it takes stains out really quickly and i like it kind of just really cool. <laughs> <laughs> i like it so yeah this is this is definitely one of my favorites nice mm. okay another random thing is this baby chapstick <laughs> It's a baby organic chapstick and we don't use it. Like when we did put some chapstick on her, we actually used nipple cream. Right, I used nipple cream too. Yeah, it's the best chapstick for sure. Right. <laughs> Damn. So because my baby actually eats baby food now, I always keep um, baby food refrigerated inside of her refrigerator pouch, which comes um, with like a little ice pack and like other things mm -hmm. to keep it cold and keep refrigerated i also keep her bottles inside of there um which is this right here um i don't have any fresh bottles in there right now and i just grabbed this from the fridge so i kind of put it in the wrong place um, <laughs> it's supposed to go over here um but i love having her food handy because she likes to eat it a lot um especially if i'm not capable of feeding her on the spot yeah. This always comes in handy. And other people can feed that to her, not just me. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that is one of the last few things that I have in my bag. Um, I have an emergency formula. I have one of those too. <laughs> it's true. live. It wasn't the last thing in her bag. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I guess everything is that the last yeah, thing. Yeah, formula. They come in two ounce bottles, so honestly, right now, like, I'd probably have to keep two of these in yeah. here, or else I'd just feed this to her and she'd scream at me because she didn't get enough. Right. I also have uh, a clean bottle uh, most of the time. Most of the time I have a clean bottle. Every time that I seem to need it, right. I don't have it with me. But we have a clean bottle just in case. Um, we have the regular powder formula in our bag sometimes, which just looks a little yummier than this instant one. But this right. instant one comes in handy. Right. Where you ain't got no water. Give me. If you don't have the necessity. Exactly. And that is, oh. This is from the sample pack of the Walmart thing. I mean, of the Target gift bag. Are those um, storage bags? No, it's uh, baby wipes. But like. Oh, wow, that's cute. I forget to bring my baby wipes sometimes. Like if I like, if I pull them out of that bag because right. I didn't want to get a whole new thingy right because i'm changing her right there my diaper bag's closer than the box of wipes yeah um i'll pull them out and i'll forget to put them back in my diaper bag and then i'm out and i don't have any wipes i actually have gone through that a couple of times and yeah. each time i forget that i have these extra wipes yeah so i haven't actually gotten any of that benefiting right that didn't make sense yeah but it's there if I ever remember, right. and that will be pretty sick once I do. <laughs> I also carry like a pack of diapers in my car okay. and a pack of wipes in my car, uh -huh. like for emergency purposes. And like, believe it or not, more times than not, I actually use it. Please. Like I use it a lot actually, the Please. diapers in the car. Like we're out and I'll just be like, oh snap, I left her diaper bag in the car. Mm -hmm. I'll go to the trunk and actually get one of the extra diapers out of the pack instead of holding it out her diaper bag. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be like, oh, well, there it is. Found it. Okay, so um, I just got a random few things. Yeah. I'm just going to pull them. Yeah, sure um, the changing pad comes with oh, the bag. Oh, yes. I have a changing pad as well. A lot of things that she's pulling out, we both have yeah. inside of her bag. Um, I have my wallet. <laughs> no purse here. <laughs> That's my ID and all that good stuff. Hand sanitizer. Yes. Another pair of socks. Because, you know, they come off. 
and ooh, some ponytail holders. And this is actually an ice pack that should be in the freezer right now. Right. For when I have fresh milk coming with us for short distances. Yeah. yeah. Because I don't have one of those refrigerator things. Right. You should, I could buy. I have a pouch. Like it's like a lunch pail. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can buy one if I wanted to. I, you know, have it. Because I don't want to. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys for checking out our video today. Um, please um, let us know uh, any information if you guys, like she was saying, if you guys know anything that may be something that we said wrong or that you guys just want to inform us about, go ahead and DM us, message us, mm -hmm. and just let us know. Send us links, send us anything. We'll actually watch it. We'll check it out. We'll tag you in it. <laughs> just let us know. Um, yeah. Comment down below if you guys liked the video today or if you guys want us to do a specific video or a particular video. Maybe like just, yeah. and subscribe and follow, and hit that bell button down there so that you guys can be notified every time. That was what yeah, that was that's for. exactly what that's for. You have to hit the bell button and they'll be notified every time we post a video. What? <laughs> Bye, Bye guys!